Hello and welcome to the Fort Report. I'm Chris Connolly. And I'm Alicia Woodruff. With the cold weather behind us, many residents enjoy washing their own cars at home. But did you know that washing your car on the driveway can pollute neighborhood creeks, rivers, and lakes? Well, when that soapy water runs into the street and into a storm drain, it doesn't go to a treatment plant. That dirty water goes straight into our streams, rivers, or lakes. In fact, it can even kill fish and other wildlife. Storm drains are for storm water only. So what can you do? Two things. You can wash your car at a commercial car wash. They're required to have a drainage system that sends dirty, soapy water to a treatment plant. Or you can wash your car on the lawn. Detergents won't hurt your grass, and the soil acts as a filter for oil, tar, and other grime that washes off your car. While you're keeping those rides nice and clean, be sure to keep our streams and lakes clean as well. And apparently you can't drink out of the hose anymore or you could die. Fort Worth has a great recycling program, but when it comes to recycling unwanted electronics, it gets a bit more complicated. You can't just put your old TV, computer, or game console in the blue carts. Fortunately, the 2011 Recycling Roundup is just around the corner. The focus of the program this year is to collect unwanted electronics. The Cowboy Santas program will take your unwanted electronics and recycle them. The proceeds from the Recycling Roundup will be used to purchase new toys, games, and books for children who might otherwise not receive gifts during the holiday season. You can drop off your old electronics from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, June 11th at the Southwest Community Center. That center is located in Southwest Fort Worth at 6300 Welch Avenue. So Chris, did you ever clean up that lawn or are you still clinging on to those junk vehicles and calling them yard art? Hey, art is in the eye of the beholder. Well, your eyes are going to behold a code violation if you don't get it cleaned up. In fact, Code Compliance announced recent service improvements to better protect neighborhoods. Code will be adding animal control officers to better address animal-related concerns. It will also be adding a Safe Neighborhood Initiative team to address high violation areas. Other additions include four litter teams to address trash throughout the city and a new commercial waste enforcement team to better handle dumpster and other commercial-related complaints. These additional resources will help keep our city clean and attractive, but remember, we need your help too. As a citizen, you can do your part to make sure your property is violation-free. You can also help by reporting possible violations to 817-392-1234 or by email at codecares at fortworthgov.org. I'll be sure to do my part, Alicia. Okay, we're done for this week, but one important reminder, the election season is still in full swing with runoff races for mayor and for District 7 in Northwest Fort Worth. That's right. So pay attention, get informed, and most important of all, vote. Early voting runs from June 6th to June 14th, and Election Day is June 18th. Thanks for watching The Fort Report. I'm Chris Conley. And I'm Alicia Woodruff. Bye.